All right, so it's currently Saturday, the uh, 7th of January, and uh, it's uh, yeah, five o'clock in the morning. It's dark, it's wet, and we're off to uh, a really good place today. Uh, I've heard it's one again, one of the toughest lanes in Wales now. So yeah, we're gonna have a look, see how we get on. Um, we're just making our way now to meet the guys, and then we're gonna have a convoy over there. And for this place we're going today, it's gonna take us about two hours to get to. Uh, so yes, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty, uh, pretty long day on the lane today. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you when we get to the uh, the next meeting point, and uh, should be around about nine o'clock then. All right, see you guys in a bit. Right, let's have a look at the vehicles. Here we got the Frank's Fringe TDI, Great Wall Steed there, and a couple of discos. So yeah, we've got a few new guys with this one today, and uh, yeah, we're gonna take them on some uh, tough tracks today. Uh, it's gonna be really interesting on the trails, and we've got. Uh, our leader for one of the toughest lanes, James, and look at that, what a weapon, that 300 TDI. Uh, yeah, that's some 39s, fully kitted out. Let's see how it goes. And a lot of you guys here will recognise the start of this lane, and uh, yeah, this is one's red lane, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, see how we go, we're going to follow James here, and uh, see what happens. And here we go guys, this is the start of the lane. Let's see what happens. Uh oh, that don't sound good. Oh man, look at that, an axle twist there. So yeah, the ball joints came out of the A-frame and that's allowed the axle to twist and it's literally just ripped itself to pieces there. Flipping it, not good. Right, so uh, yeah, we've uh, forced it back out and call it a day on this lane, but uh, we've got many more to explore. And uh, our mate there, he's going to get his buddies to come down and uh, help him out. We did manage to get the springs in and uh, get the uh, vehicle back onto its axle, uh, but yeah, that was there for a bit of time. Now let's carry on with the trip and it gets pretty extreme for the rest of the day so stick with us guys it's gonna be a good video this is wow look at that now that was a big axle twist there for the start there well buckle up guys first river crossing oh my god look at this that was deep man that was deep go is Frank gonna take it see if he gets on wow now that's deep and uh, even Frank's dogs are enjoying that too by the looks of things <laughs> look at that what a crossing Don't be a sash in the Defender. Now we've seen Defenders do some of our river crossings. Yeah, it's gonna go through, no problem. Keep watching, guys. Now 
that was pretty impressive there by Sash and the defender. And yeah, the water gets in them pretty well, so they sink pretty well too. <laughs> the uh, Great Wall Steed, let's say the mighty Chinese Steed gets on. Uh oh, that's not good, but with these trucks they are pretty light, so once the water gets to the back end, uh, it should sink down and pull himself out, hopefully, but we're on standby, ready to help. Gonna hold it there. Oosh, bit of a twitchy moment, but uh, the Great Wall pulls its way through. Keep watching, guys. Next up is James. Let's see how he gets on with the uh, TD5. When you get to the day, yeah. Wow, that's pretty deep there, guys. Oof. When you get to the day, Next up is Tally. Let's see how he gets on. Uh, it's first time proper exploring his TD5 as well. So yeah, see you goes. And there's some proper bow waves here from the guys going through here. And a bit of in-car footage here from Tally, so we can uh, see how it is from uh, his perspective. Uh, yeah, watch this guys, it's really wild this is. Next up is Liam, let's see how he gets on. Fingers crossed he makes it through okay. That was a close one, and yeah, all the vehicles are floating in the middle there. Bloody hell. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe guys, you know, and help us out. We're doing some really good uh, videos this year. We've got some really good trips planned. And uh, so yeah, some really good content for you guys to watch. So yeah, subscribe. Don't miss any of the content. Cheers guys. Now this lane was steep. Honestly guys, this is really steep and a bit of an angle as well. So uh, yeah, it's quite tricky uh, going down steady. And but yeah, let's watch the lads get on. Wow, now guys, this corner coming up, this is steep. So uh, a bit of a nickname for this lane, it's called Slippery Back. 
and uh, you'll see in a minute and uh, it really is one for going down coming up pretty much ain't got much chance to get up here it is absolutely crazy And we've got a bit more in-car footage here from one of the lads and uh, yeah as you can see look at that that is steep and some big uh, angles here as well so yeah watch this one guys it's a really good lane as well go this is steep some big drops as well Oof. definitely one coming down guys I wouldn't really attempt going up And a nice little water splash section at the bottom and uh, yeah look at that you can still see the vehicles coming down that is steep what a lane Some of you can see here there's only four vehicles yeah so the three discoveries a bit waterlogged and a few issues so that they're, they're going to drive home steady and make it back home safe and obviously we've lost james as well so it's just us four and yeah uh, let's see here we go hopefully you don't lose any more vehicles touch wood These lanes are amazing around here, really good. I mean, I've been using these lanes for God, over 10 years and every time you come in, they change a little bit more and they make things a bit more interesting. And uh, yeah, what a route we've got planned for today. It's really, really good. Some proper special lanes around here. on this section here guys see that big rock there yeah that's uh something happens in a short while so uh, yeah stick around and keep watching ah the mighty steed she's took a bit of a tumble yeah so uh lost a bit of traction there and uh, unfortunately slid down into the embankment there and into the ravine good job that rock was there to be honest because that's stopped him from going any further so yeah bit of a job to get this out now snatch block job bit of winching and uh, hopefully we'll have him out keep watching Yeah, I'm 
Right, okay, so we've got winch on and we've pulled him back. So we're gonna see if we can uh, pull him forwards and then get him back out onto the track here. And unfortunately this vehicle doesn't have diff lock and mud tires, so those two there bits missing. That's probably why he slid down into the bank, but uh, yeah, he's gonna try and improve the truck as he gets on. So uh, hopefully doesn't, this doesn't happen again. That was a pretty uh, epic recovery and um, yeah back on track and he's still with us let's keep going here for this part of the lane especially that corner pretty steep and a bit of uh, an angle there as well here is the mighty steed come on keep it going stick with the land rovers mate <laughs> Epic river crossing here, and uh, yeah, this one's quite nice. And uh, the water's not too deep this side, but where we've just been, that was pretty wild. So, yeah, let's keep watching, guys. And we've had a few pickup trucks on the uh, group, but uh, first time for a steed, and to be fair, it's proven really well, it's really good. Now this section took us by surprise, really really deep and uh, you'll enjoy this, keep watching. Wow that was deep and it just sucked us right in but we managed to pull through. Let's see how the other guys get on, hopefully they can all make it through. Maybe that's not a good place to stand. He's gonna get wet in a second. Look at this tidal wave coming. <laughs> Not a good time to leave the door open and defend up. We've got a nice cross axle section here. This is really good, pretty steep climb as well, so it makes a pretty interesting drive. Look at this. Now this one took us by surprise too, and this is a really good lane, and some of you guys will know this one too. And uh, wow, this is pretty epic. Watch this. Oh, that was pretty 
pretty deep. Right, bring on the next guys. Nice one, Frank. Look at that. Look at the water in the headlights. <laughs> Don't forget guys, if you're not subscribed and you're loving the videos, hit that subscribe button, help me out. And yeah, keep watching the videos, enjoy it. And watch this, this gets deep. You'll enjoy this guys. Now this TD5, she's pretty epic and she's pretty much done well in the water. Most TD5s don't like it, but this one done really well. Fair play, good effort for the whole day. And time for the Defender to uh, come through. And this one should get through no problem, 300 TDI. So yeah, she's uh, going to keep on chugging no matter how deep it is. what an adventure we were having so far and yeah uh you might not see the uh, steed or the other 300 tdi uh frank there they've called it a day and uh, yeah so it's uh, just two land rovers remaining but fair play for the steed what a vehicle that has that's done really well to keep up with the land rovers and uh, a bit of an underdog for today but it's uh, proved its worth And it's just the two of us and here we are up on water break its neck wow what a view from up here guys and uh, some big clouds rolling in we've missed the rain which has been pretty good it's held off and uh, on the way home it gets pretty wild some big floods on the roads but uh, yeah it's uh, been a hell of a day well hi guys uh, what a day we've had today on the lanes and uh, yeah, literally just on the way back home now. And uh, it's, uh, what time is it now? And uh, we half past seven at night. So yeah, I've been, I've been up since three o'clock in the morning. Been on the road since five. And uh, yeah, it's been a long day. We've had a pretty eventful day. There were nine vehicles. Uh, we split into two groups. Uh, only two made it back. And they have a lot of problems on the lanes. So it's uh, been pretty adventurous. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I think it's gonna be another good one. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you on the next one. Cheers guys, and thank you for everybody that turned up. It was a pretty eventful day. And uh, yeah, look forward to more uh, laning trips. Cheers guys.